Hey Yeti Club, a few days ago we went back to our third round of Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. Let's dive on in. First up, I got the paella with chorizo and roasted chicken from Spain. The dish overall tasted great. I've always wanted to try paella, but never got a chance to until now. My only complaint was that I wish there was more chicken because all I got was that one little piece, but I still was really pleased with the dish. Then I got the sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp with pineapple, pepper, onion, and snap peas from Australia. The shrimp was cooked well and it had a seasoning similar to Creole seasoning. The rest of the dish was dominated by the pineapple and I wish the other ingredients could have stood out more. Next I got the cheddar cheese and bacon soup with a pretzel roll from Canada. This is the first dish I've had so far that I was legitimately disappointed in. The soup didn't really have a cheesy taste, not really much of a taste at all, but had a pretty unpleasant aftertaste. The bacon bits in it didn't help the dish at all. It was really nice to have the pretzel roll to dip, but unfortunately it still couldn't save the dish as a whole. Then we stopped by the festival center and checked out the merch and the chocolate exhibit where they had some really amazing chocolate sculptures. While we were in the festival center, I got a beer flight from Craft Drafts. The first beer was a Waff Ale from Central 28 Beer Company. I was really, really hoping this would have a strong waffle and maple taste, but all I got was a tiny bit of waffle flavor in the aftertaste. The next was a roasted red ale from Bold City Brewery. This one just wasn't for me, not a fan. Last was a triple chocolate milk stout from the Florida Beer Company. This was the most chocolate flavor I've ever tasted in a chocolate stout, and it was great. I'm not really a stout lover, but this one I was really into. Then I got the croissant au escargot from France. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It tasted better than I expected. The main flavor was like a garlic herb croissant. The escargot itself didn't have much flavor. It just took on the garlic. It had a chewy consistency that didn't necessarily take away from the dish, but it didn't really enhance it either. Next, I got the cheese bread from Brazil. It was a really interesting experience. The flavor tastes like normal cheese bread, but the texture was in between bread and cheese. In some bites, I was sure it was just cheesy bread, and then in some bites, it felt like it was stuffed with cheese. It tasted good, but the texture was almost a little bit off-putting. I definitely don't think I would need to get this one again. After that, I got the maple bacon funnel cake from America. This one is technically not from a food and wine stand, but it is a food and wine festival exclusive, so it was a bit bigger and more expensive than the rest of the foods at the festival. You certainly got your money's worth, though. What's the verdict? Is it everything you ever dreamed of? Yeah. As sweet as I thought it was going to be. It's like maple ice cream though, it's really good. Next up, I got the seasoned ground beef kefta pocket from Morocco. This one tasted exactly as the description makes it sound like it would taste. Plenty of delicious savory herbs and spices, simple pita pocket shell, not a ton to say about this one, although it was really tasty. Our last stop of the night was Light Lab. The interior is really neat and interesting. They had signs with scientific information and fun facts about color, smell, taste, and cool lighting playing off the wall. You have to make sure you go into the inside room in the Light Lab area though because they have a bar outside that serves drinks, but you don't get the full experience. I got the infrared and ultraviolet drinks. They made the drinks right in front of you by pouring a liquid down a spiral beaker and letting it melt cotton candy that they placed in a cup. First off, I'm going to turn off the infrared. Let's see how this is. Yeah, it's just like a really sweet, sugary strawberry. Now for the ultraviolet. I do not taste anything. It's like sugar water with no flavor to it. Yikes. I think I prefer the infrared though. I got the phosphorescent flight, which was a flight of three slushies all served with glowing ice cubes inside of them. They give you a card with instructions to drink the slushies with your eyes closed so that the color doesn't affect what you think the flavor is, and then to guess what flavors you think you're drinking. They give you a little plastic decoder to use so you can see the actual flavors that are listed at the bottom of the card after you guess. If you want to do this for yourself, stop watching right now because I'm about to spoil what flavors you get. So if you don't want to know, you have three, two, one, final warning, all right. I 
first you think it's blue raspberry, try the purple. Again, the first thing your brain says is great. super weird whatever it is <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> the first slushy was blue and it was blue raspberry flavored I didn't really see the point of doing the decoder if the blue one was just blue raspberry flavored anyway but it was still the best tasting slushy of the group in my opinion the second one was purple and it was grape lemonade flavored still tasted pretty good but again the purple was grape really not that shocking the last one was yellow and it was coconut lime I don't really like lime and I strongly dislike coconut so this one was an unpleasant surprise Overall, it was a fun experiment, although I kind of wish they made the flavors more drastically different from the colors so the game would have a little bit more meaning to it. So another trip to food and wine is in the books, but we are going back soon, so make sure you subscribe, and until next time, voice the colors.